Today, we're exploring the enchanting world of small and cute exotic animals that you can bring into your home as pets. From tiny hedgehogs to adorable sugar gliders, we'll showcase 20 delightful creatures that will steal your heart. Get ready to meet some unique companions that will add joy and charm to your life. Let's dive into the fascinating world of small exotic pets. Prairie Dogs Prairie dogs, affectionate members of the squirrel family, are typically born in the spring. These social creatures, resembling fluffy balls, thrive best when raised in pairs, receiving regular doses of snuggles, belly rubs, petting, and affection from their owners. Their name originates from their habitat and warning calls, which resemble a dog's bark. Their adorable tails and insatiable craving for attention likely contribute to this moniker. Upon leaving their cage, prairie dogs are known to emit these calls, almost as if saying good morning. They are easy to care for, amiable, and enjoy staying active during their peak hours. Despite their endearing nature, prairie dogs may exhibit territorial behavior towards strangers or individuals they weren't raised around. The Short-Tailed Opossum The short-tailed opossum is a smaller version of the regular opossums you might find in your backyard capable of playing dead or hissing viciously. They're also marsupials, but lack the pouch. Short-tailed opossums are related to wallabies, koalas, and sugar gliders, so they also have that cuteness factor. Being omnivores, they would eat almost anything humans eat. However, unlike the sugar glider, the short-tailed opossum is a low-maintenance animal that values its space. Therefore, it's best to house it alone in a spacious gerbil enclosure equipped with items like exercise wheels, hamster water bottles, and a cozy bed. Furthermore, as these creatures are adept escape artists, both the enclosure and your house must be escape-proof. That being said, short-tailed opossums are gentle, sweet, friendly, and easily trainable. Chinchillas Now introducing the undeniably adorable chinchilla. Chinchillas make playful and exotic pets, offering a delightful addition to your home due to their minimal space requirements. Providing them with a proper diet, a cozy home, and a warm, draft-free environment ensures their well-being and thriving. While chinchillas are affectionate pets, they can sometimes be shy and may not always enjoy frequent handling, so it's advisable to refrain from constant touching. They may also exhibit signs of crankiness. An appealing aspect of chinchilla ownership is their cleanliness and relatively odor-free nature. These delightful creatures require minimal grooming. Simply adding some dust to their bath bowl allows them to effortlessly clean themselves, a spectacle to behold. Chinchillas are crepuscular animals, meaning they are most active during the twilight hours at dawn and dusk. When caring for a chinchilla, it's essential to monitor the humidity levels of their habitat, as they naturally inhabit cool and dry environments. Elevated humidity levels can impede their ability to cool down effectively, potentially leading to heat stroke, a significant concern for these adorable pets. Hermit Crab While fluffy and furry might melt the hearts of many, the hermit crab holds its place as one of the cutest crustaceans you can own as a pet, and they've been around for a while. They make no noise and trigger absolutely no allergies, making them suitable for those with allergies. Contrary to what one might expect with animals possessing pincers, Hermit crabs are very calm, docile creatures that rarely pinch. Additionally, they're social and can be housed together in a spacious tank or aquarium. Since they can walk on dry land, creating an ideal home shouldn't be much of a problem. After setting up their abode with shells, sea sand, pebbles, cool hideout spots, and fresh water to drink and wet their gills, you can occasionally sprinkle salt water for humidity. You could also paint your favorite things on the beautiful canvas-like shells to keep things interesting. Hermit crabs can be fascinating to watch, but they have a knack for hiding away just when you try to spot them. Sugar gliders. With their adorable eyes, fluffy coats, and impressive gliding abilities reminiscent of Batman, sugar gliders are incredibly cute tree-dwelling marsupials that make charming pets. The name sugar gliders stems from their penchant for feeding on nectarous foods but it's equally fitting due to their graceful gliding motions, akin to watching skydiving. These little creatures' gliders consist of thin skin membranes on both sides of their bodies. Baby sugar gliders, known as joeys, are especially endearing, particularly when they drift off to sleep in your palm while receiving gentle strokes on their heads. 
closely related to koalas, sugar gliders inherit their cuteness from their adorable relatives. Moreover, they're manageable pets, being small in size and thriving on companionship. When properly socialized, your sugar glider will show affection and fare better with a companion. However, be prepared for the challenges of owning one. They are messy, cannot be house trained, and are prohibited in certain areas due to legal restrictions. Additionally, it's worth noting that sugar gliders may resort to biting when they feel threatened. Hence, if you decide to take on the responsibility of owning one, these are aspects you must be willing to contend with. Millipedes. Considered one of the most endearing critters to keep as a pet, the millipede stands out. These charming, gentle, and quiet creatures require minimal care to thrive. While not suited for everyone, millipedes are relatively low-maintenance pets, as they do not create a mess and occupy little space. However, it's crucial to provide them with appropriate substrates, as well as maintain the correct temperature and humidity levels through proper heating and lighting. Although you can't take them for walks like a dog, larger species can crawl over you as you enjoy spending time together. Among pet millipedes, African species are the most popular, often reaching lengths of up to 12 inches. Additionally, unlike cats or fennec foxes, millipedes have modest appetites and do not require as much food. Hedgehogs. Sonic may be too fast for you to tame, but you can still own a hedgehog provided they're legal to own in your state. These animals are neither rodents nor related to porcupines, in case you're wary of spikes. Hedgehogs are one of the easiest exotic pets to have, as even a kid can raise them. If you choose to call them hedgies, they are not social, so you can have one without worrying about them experiencing separation anxiety. These happy campers are sweet, quiet pets that require a lot of interaction to be happy. Hedgies don't shed much and don't need a lot of grooming. They have a habit of curling up when touched, but can be trained to accept handling with gentle persistence. Additionally, they don't produce a lot of waste, so be sure to keep an eye on them when you let them out of their cage. Degus. What happens when you somehow manage to cross a guinea pig and a hamster? You get a degu, of course. I'm pretty sure you saw the title. They have fuzzy fur and a rat-like face. Unlike other pocket pets, degus are diurnal meaning they're more active during the day when you want to play and not running on the ferret wheel at night while you're trying to sleep. These adorable little creatures are social, so it's best to raise them in pairs of the same sex. You see, keeping the opposite sexes together will lead to a massive population explosion, as they breed and rapidly produce litters of up to eight babies at a time. Dagus don't mind sharing their homes with ferrets or rats, so if you've had any of these pets previously, you can also introduce Dagus to the mix. After all, they all use the same accessories and toys. Dagus are gentle and love a good scratch just below their necks. However, they're escape artists and can easily shoot through plastic cages to run loose. Axolotls. The axolotl is not just an exotic pet because few people own it, but also because it's an aquatic salamander. Salamanders are cute, but an aquatic one is incredibly cool. This adorable critter can be obtained at pet stores that specialize in fish, Axolotls are great for first-time pet owners as they're easy to care for and won't make a mess around your place. I mean they only live in their tanks, and they're cute animals with the amazing ability to regenerate lost limbs. Who can resist such a cute yawn and a face that always wears a smile? And if the adult axolotl doesn't melt your heart, meet a baby, axolotl. All the axolotl needs to be a colorful addition to your home is a small tank filled with fresh water and a strong filter. Then, you must regularly change their water, clean their tank, and provide them with the right food. Fennec Foxes For anyone who has dreamt of owning a fox but hesitated due to concerns about its size and wild nature, the fennec fox presents itself as a viable option. Fennec foxes are miniature versions of their larger counterparts, roughly the size of a chihuahua albeit with larger ears. These incredibly adorable tiny creatures are skilled hunters in the wild and can pose considerable challenges when kept as pets indoors. They tend to be messy, chewy, and resistant to potty training. Despite their undeniable charm, fennec foxes are prohibited in certain states. Ideally, they require extensive socialization to acclimate to human companionship. Although they may resemble chihuahuas, it's important to refrain from letting them roam off-leash in parks or on walks. 
Fennec foxes crave constant companionship and affection from their owners, readily indulging in day-long snuggle sessions. Pairing them up is beneficial, and while many owners opt for spacious caged enclosures, some choose to train them for indoor living, similar to cats. Tarantulas. Another intriguing exotic pet option presents itself with the tarantula. Nevertheless, individuals with arachnophobia may not share this sentiment. Tarantulas prove to be low-maintenance pets with numerous appealing attributes. To begin, they don't demand significant space, and akin to millipedes, they require minimal cleaning. Additionally, tarantulas don't necessitate extensive attention or physical activity to maintain contentment, simply providing them with supplemented insects for sustenance is adequate. Moreover, they typically require feeding every other day, rendering them suitable companions for frequent travelers. Contrary to popular misconception, tarantulas are neither aggressive nor venomous. Nonetheless, caution is warranted when handling them, as their bites can administer a mildly toxic venom, akin to a bee sting. Though not recommended, one could exploit their presence to startle conventional acquaintances. However, you didn't hear that suggestion from us. Leopard geckos. Another reptile you should consider owning is the leopard gecko. Geckos are generally popular exotic lizards that come in different colors and types. Still, the leopard gecko is one of the most famous, thanks to its striking pattern and friendly demeanor. These guys are great pets for small apartments as they can do well in a smaller tank. Interestingly, they only need a tank with regulated temperature and don't require special UV lighting like other reptiles. They're very easy to handle and are one of the few exotic lizards that thrive on human interaction. But be sure to wash your hands after handling them as they can transmit salmonella to you. Hyacinth macaws. Next up is the hyacinth macaw, an adorable, colorful bird that makes an amazing pet in the right home. And by the right home, I mean one with a large cage and experienced pet owners who can engage with the bird daily. Hyacinths are the largest of the macaw family, and these big, beautiful birds can be a handful. They require a large space to move about and tend to be destructive, as they use their curved, hard beaks to bite into things. Aside from that, you have a highly intelligent, adorable, gentle giant that will dote on you constantly. Their lovely blue color and affectionate personality make them the star attraction in your home. However, their large size means they can be intimidating to those who dread being bitten by a bird. Ball pythons. Reptile enthusiasts have their share of exotic pet options too. The ball python stands out as a colorful and beautiful companion with impressive longevity. Moreover, they're great companions around children, but it's crucial not to leave kids unsupervised with them, as ball pythons dislike being poked or handled roughly. Nevertheless, socializing ball pythons early is essential for them to adapt well to human interaction. Regarded as the most docile and easiest snake species to care for, ball pythons make excellent pets. It's important to note that children shouldn't be tasked with feeding them, as this is a serious responsibility for ball python owners. Indeed, feeding these snakes presents a significant challenge. Ball pythons are known for their selective eating habits, and occasional food refusal can lead to emaciation. Additionally, proper cage setup is crucial. Their enclosure must maintain the right levels of heat, provide basking spots, and ensure proper humidity. Bearded dragons. Not to worry, these guys don't breathe fire, and neither do they sport facial hair. However, they have spikes under their chin that can puff up to indicate their feelings. You really don't want to see them angry. Luckily, beardies don't get angry often and are one of the easiest lizards to have as pets. They're known to be docile and friendly, making them a good fit for beginner lizard owners. They also do well with kids who have been taught how to handle them. Bearded dragons are relatively small lizards and don't grow to a huge size like others. Hence, an adequate size enclosure with an aquarium will suffice. Although very rare, some beardies have been taught to come on command and perform other tasks for treats. Check out this guy. It is, however, essential to note that they need a low humidity environment to survive. Whether on car rides, on your shoulder, or on a leash, these guys are ready to go everywhere with their owners. Slow Larises. Another exotic pet that many fantasize about having is the Slow Loris, primarily because of how cute they are, especially with those eyes. However, Slow Larises aren't great pets. Not only are they more inclined towards wild behavior, but they're also venomous. 
In cases where their teeth have been removed to domesticate them, research indicates that this isn't the best practice for these animals. Furthermore, slow lorises are nocturnal animals that love sleeping through the whole afternoon, but their owners may wish to interact with them during these periods. Research also shows that they don't enjoy being tickled, even if they may seem to. We often mistake their self-defense mechanism as a display of enjoyment. Meerkats. Meerkats exude an undeniable cuteness, particularly when they stand on their hind legs. Yet, if you've ever encountered their young, baby meerkats boast eyes and innocence so irresistibly charming, they could rival a kitten's appeal. Resembling Taimon from the Lion King animation, meerkats emit a carefree Hakuna Matata vibe, particularly when you're relaxing in the park. While legal to own in some countries, meerkats are prohibited in the United States. Although meerkats exhibit more dominant primitive traits, they pose no harm to humans. Instead, it underscores the importance of providing them with an environment akin to their natural habitat for their well-being. A meerkat can either be housed in a cage or allowed to roam freely around the house, depending on the amount of time you can dedicate to caring for these captivating creatures. Slots. Who wouldn't want a pet too slow to reach a houseplant, let alone eat it? I know I would. Sloths are cute, docile animals that make for amazing pets. However, these slow-moving creatures require a great deal of care and very specific foods to live with you without complications. Unlike slow horses, owning a sloth, particularly a two-toed sloth, is illegal in certain states. Additionally, you should be aware that a sloth would prefer hanging from a branch or in its cage rather than spending time with humans. Therefore, you should take it slow with the cuddling, petting, and handling. Furthermore, sloths generally maintain their natural instincts and don't enjoy being bathed or groomed, although you can do so, especially for medical reasons. Chipmunks. Anyone familiar with the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies understands their undeniable adorableness. However, it's essential not to anticipate that the chipmunk you rescue from an animal shelter or find in your backyard will become the next Hollywood sensation. Nevertheless, caution is warranted. These creatures might unexpectedly thrust you into social media fame, much like the example of this individual. While those fortunate enough to have owned one can attest to their remarkable qualities as pets. This particular species of squirrel demands ample space, akin to that required by a bear, due to their boundless energy and the need for regular playtime and exercise around the clock. Despite not being the most manageable pets, they offer a level of intrigue surpassing that of the typical hamster. Additionally, wild chipmunks can develop a sense of familiarity and warmth towards humans who consistently provide them with food. It's akin to the excitement of hearing the ice cream truck's chimes. Witness how these chipmunks eagerly rush towards their human benefactor who feeds them daily. Marmosets. Oh, behold those adorable little monkeys. Marmosets, a species of monkey, can be as tiny as your fingers when they're young, making them irresistibly cute enough to melt your heart. Marmosets are among the most commonly kept primate species due to their smaller size compared to other primates. Nevertheless, owning one entails a significant amount of work and a long-term commitment. Owning a marmoset is often likened to raising a toddler. These highly intelligent creatures require continual stimulation, such as playing with toys or engaging in outdoor activities. Furthermore, these tropical animals necessitate a warm climate and dietary requirements, similar to those found in their natural habitats for survival. They thrive in social settings and enjoy human interactions, yet caution is advised against taking them to stores or parks, where they can easily contract human diseases like colds, particularly when they're under a year old. In summary, marmosets make for intriguing pets for those capable of handling the challenges associated with their care.